Iran counterpart Ibrahim Raisi have presided over the signing of memorandum between the two countries. President Ruto, who hosted the Iranian president, who is in the country for a state visit, agreed to partner with five sectors including agriculture, ICT, education, tourism and the blue economy. Jeff Kurui with the details. After Tuesday's postponement of the Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi's state visit to Kenya, President Raisi arrived in the country Wednesday morning and proceeded to State House Nairobi, where he was received by his host President William Ruto and accorded a 21-gun salute by the military. The two heads of state retreated for a meeting where they have agreed to cooperate in the agricultural sector, including a mutual cooperation in the field of animal health and livestock production. Most specifically, I sought the president's commitment in facilitating the export of more tea, meat and other agricultural products to Iran and through Iran to the Central Asian countries. We have 12 countries in the Central Asian region with a population of almost 300 uh, people and Kenya believes that's a strategic market for our agricultural exports. Other sectors of mutual interest where the two countries have signed agreements of cooperation include the blue economy, specifically fisheries, the tourism and cultural sector, education and the information, communication and technology sector. Kenya and Iran is seeking to strengthen their bilateral ties in trade as Kenya is keen to expand its market for exports. The trade volumes between our two countries have been on a steady upward trajectory. Kenya exported tea worth 28.4 million US dollars, about uh, 4 billion shillings, to Tehran in the first quarter of this year, which is an eightfold increase from sales for the same period last year. Ready to de declare our readiness to share our experience with Kenya and, and it's the dear people of Kenya. We have a wealth of experience in the field of, in, in the field of economy and science and technology. The agreement signed today will also see Iran establish a car assembling plant in Mombasa that aims to feed into the Kenya Kwanzaa government's agenda of creating jobs and boosting manufacturing industry in the country. His Excellency President Raisi conveyed to me information that will be good news for stakeholders in our mechanical and automotive sector including dealers, engineers, technicians and other workers. Iran's intention to set up a motor vehicle assembly plant in Mombasa to manufacture an indigenous Iranian vehicle that has now been given the Kiswahili name Kifaru, meaning Rhino. And I hope it will be a tough one, Your Excellency. There are no insurmountable barriers between for development and expansion of our relations. And I'm sure this could be a right groundwork for expansion in, in other different fields. President Raisi's visit